In the heart of Sambonan, a community in the northeast region, is Jaya Kwanjit, an old lady who does not know her age. But she firmly maintains that she's way younger than she looks currently. She blames poverty for draining all youthful juices in her, leaving her blind and old. She lost her sight after giving birth to her second child. Yaya lost her husband and recounts everything took a downward turn. She tries to define what poverty means to her. Poverty is when you depend on people for everything. Poverty is when you want to eat banku and fish, kosi, drink malt, and any other drink. But you don't have the means. That is what I consider poverty. In fact, her two sons travel to southern Ghana in search of supposed better living conditions, but only one visits her occasionally. Many times she is left to battle life alone. She cleans and does many domestic chores all by herself. The children in the community support by fetching water for her. She groves for her stick, getting ready to prepare breakfast. She plants her own okra and periodically gets maize from her son and sometimes people in the community. But there are days that Yaya Kwanjit goes without any food. There are days I have nothing. Sometimes the people in this community assume I'm okay. Those are the days I have nothing but depend on water. God always sees me through. Although she has not seen a second son for several years, she holds no grudges. Rather, she blames his long absence on poverty. My son was very young when he left. This community is very poor. He had no choice but to leave. I learned he has a family down south, but he has never contacted me. I don't blame him. I know life is hard down south. Out of 330,000 households and 1,650,000 individuals captured under the Livelihood Empowerment Against Poverty program to receive cash support, she was not captured. In fact, out of 2.4 million people identified as extremely poor in Ghana, 750,000 of them are not on the LEAP program. Her National Health Insurance card has also expired and she does not attend the hospital when ill. Yaya is thankful to God for good health, but she wants her insurance card renewed also. She has been sleeping on the bare floor all her life and rarely sleeps on a mat. But Yaya has one last wish before she dies. Before I die, I want to also sleep on a mattress. Now, I don't even have a mattress. The only thing I want is a mattress. To improve her life, the East Gonda district should strongly consider visiting her and capturing her on the LEAP program. She is grateful that a new steam vested her and sends us off with a prayer.
Georgia Cobnam, Joy News.